In this episode of Science for the Non-Scientist, I'm going to talk about some new research that shows how antidepressants might work in the brain. So here's a question. When people start taking medicine for depression, these antidepressants start changing the chemistry of the brain right away. So why is it that it often takes weeks for people to actually start feeling better? This research by scientists from across the world might shed some light on this. This appeared in Cell Magazine in 2021. So to answer this, I'm first gonna talk about how brain cells communicate with each other. Then I'll talk about how antidepressants have been thought to work. And last, I'll talk about some new research that can increase our understanding of how antidepressants might work. So to start with, the brain is made up of about, let's say, 100 billion nerve cells. Now, these nerve cells are all different shapes and sizes, and they have different functions. The important thing is that they're all talking to each other all the time. These are interconnected, and the way that they talk to each other is through neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters are chemicals in the brain, and some of them that are familiar to us are dopamine, serotonin, GABA, and glutamate. Now, what happens is that some nerve cells release these neurotransmitters, and other nerve cells pick them up. And this is how nerve cells communicate with each other. Now, in people with depression, the amount of neurotransmitter that's uh, in the space between these nerve cells is greatly diminished. So these nerve cells don't communicate with each other as well. And what antidepressants do is they increase the concentration of, neuro of neurotransmitters between the nerve cells. They prevent these neurotransmitters from getting destroyed or recycled so quickly. And this means that the nerve cells can communicate with each other normally again. Some common antidepressants are the SSRIs or serotonin, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors like Prozac, Celexa, Lexapro, Paxil, and Soloft, or the MAO inhibitors like Marplan, Nardil, MSAM, and Parnate, or Ketamine. And all of these antidepressants are thought to increase the concentration of neurotransmitters between neurons. The thing is that these antidepressants cause this increase of neurotransmitters immediately. As soon as you start taking them within a day or so, the neurotransmitter concentration is increased. So why does it take several weeks often for people to actually start feeling better? Well, the research sheds light on another way that antidepressants might work, in addition to increasing the concentration of neurotransmitters. And this has to do with this other neurotransmitter or brain chemical called BDNF, or brain-derived neurotrophic factor. And this is a really important molecule in the brain. It's important for strengthening the communication between nerve cells, something that's known as synaptic plasticity. And this receptor for BDNF can occur in two states. In one state, it's closed and nothing can get into it. And in the other state, it's open. And when it's open, then this BDNF molecule can get inside and cause its effects. Now, what happens is that these antidepressants help to keep this receptor open so that the BDNF can get inside. So the antidepressants are thought to increase BDNF activity in the brain by keeping these receptors open. Therefore, the nerve cells can communicate with each other better and strengthen this communication. But here's the thing, it takes some time for the antidepressants to reach high enough levels in the brain so that they can affect the BDNF receptor and allow this BDNF to bind. So this is why it might still take some time for antidepressants to work after the person starts taking them. Thanks for joining me and see you next time.